everybody long day of driving man long long day of driving and to say that I am tired is an understatement I am stuck here at the receiver any of y'all want a hamburger what's wrong you don't want no hamburger and what I can do is drop my trailer right here run over to the TA grab me something to eat and then come on back it was good man let me let me tell you what went on the last couple of days man it was crazy 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 all right now what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to get into too much detail uh i'm not going to do that but what I am gonna do is go in here to give you guys some bullet points. I run reefer traders. For those of you that don't know about reefer, I'm about to tell you. It's a refrigerator trader. Point blank simple. The good thing about it is you can't drop and go. You know, you can drop, grab, and go. That's at some places. This past weekend or this past couple of days, hasn't been so hot for me. All right, and I'm about to let you know. I pick up a load up in Ohio that was coming down to Illinois. Yeah, that was coming down to Illinois. There was only one problem with that. I get to the pickup way before my appointment time, which is, which is good. I mean, if you get to your appointment time, before the appointment time that is good that's real good the only problem was they didn't load me at the time that i was at my appointment i was there for like two hours or i was there for like two hours before the appointment time so my appointment time was at five o'clock i got there at two now I kind of knew that they wasn't going to get me in because when I rolled up on him, when I rolled up on him, I seen a whole row of tractor trailers in the in the docks. I mean, it was it was tight. It, I get in the dock about 5:30. I get in the dock, posted up in the dock, bam, bam, boom. Now they didn't finish with me until a little bit after eight. Now I figured that, hey, if I got here early, I still will have some time to run. That ain't worth five hours. Gone. Reefer, you guys, we all run Reefer, okay? Know that you guys is gonna be waiting, all right? There is a lot of waiting with pulling Reefer trips, okay? I 
I'm talking a lot of weight, okay? <laughs> oh, look at that. But anyway, let me get back at it. I roll out, all right? So I'm gone, I'm rolling. I had to get to my safe haven, which was, which was about, I had 45 minutes, so it was like, 30 minutes to get to the to you know to park my truck or whatever i get up after my 10 hour i get up after my 10 hour i wash up you know wash up brush my teeth and all like that and i get gone i go over to the uh over to the pilot get fueled up right quick and i'm gone just listen listen i get to illinois which is not which is about a five hour drive, but if you want to consider the fucking Illinois traffic. <laughs> add about another two and a half hours on top of that. So as soon as I pull up to the destination, to the receiver, I get there and I'm already late. Uh, the uh, the uh, guard was like, um, they not gonna unload you. They gonna, you know, they can't, they're not gonna unload you. You gotta come back tomorrow or reschedule the load. I was like, all right, cool. All right, you know, whatever. He gives me instructions to go ahead and drop it over at the drop yard. I said, cool, all right. I get another pre-plan. Cause that's that's how I, that's how you do me. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. I, every time I get finished with the Lord, I have a pre-plan waiting for me. That's that's what I like about this guy. All right, everything's cool. I get the um, I hook up to the empty. Get ready. Boom, rolling. Soon as I get to the receiver, I mean, as soon as I get to the shipper, I get there. I roll up in there. I'm, about to step out the truck and then I get a satcom message. Boom. The shipper's not going to take you this morning. I said, okay. You know, I I kind of figured that pretty much. Because the load was supposed to have been picked up last night at 8 30. That's what we do. We we will still roll to see if we get picked up. And by the way, when we when I rolled there, oh Lord have mercy. It was it was a convoy. Okay? Y'all feel me? It was a convoy there. I mean, it was, I mean, it was trucks all down the street. And then when I rolled up into the into the into the consignee, it was trucks in every last door. I kind of figured that. I got there early too, so I got there at about, what, nine? This is like early in the morning. So I already figured that if they was gonna get me in today, they was gonna work me in. And then I would've sat there all day. I, you know, I get I get set up for another uh, pre-plan. Um, actually, it was that was about 45 minutes away, and actually it's coming to the same place which is super value here in Minnesota, which is where I'm at right now. And that's where we at right now. <laughs> so yeah, long day today. Uh, and like I said, long drive today. And me being tired is an understatement, dude. I am freaking, woo. Yo, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Hey, y'all know what to do. I don't even have to mention it no more. But I do want to mention this. To all my all my subscribers out there, hey, thank you very much. You guys rock. Uh, don't forget to uh, still load me the load the questions up for the uh, for the upcoming series that I'm about to do. So make sure you guys put your comments in the uh, in the comments below. All right. That's it. I'm gone. I'm out. No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!
it. 